Budgeting is not a dirty word. It's something that you can take that confusion out, that worry, that concern, that unknown, and we can put it on the paper, make a plan, and live life better. So today we are diving into the six steps to be able to create a budget and free up money for the future. So did you know that 86% of families were impacted by COVID-19 financially? About 64% of Americans aren't prepared for retirement and 48% just don't care. Actually care folks, guys, right? 61% will run out of emergency savings by the end of the year. 78% of workers are living paycheck to paycheck and for millions, low wage work is just a dead end. So why create a budget? To get a grip on your spending, to be able to save for retirement or that special purchase, to know exactly where your hard earned money goes each month and to avoid the debt trap. So step number one, find out where the money should go. About 30% should go under housing and debt, 26 in living expenses, 25 in taxes, 4% in insurance, 15% in savings and investments. An ideal budget is going to be broken into these five main categories. And so step number two, we, get, we need to gather up that information to be able to figure out where that money is going, right? So typically this can be a huge eye opener for you. You know, we're gonna gather up all of our financial statements, bank statements, investments, recent utility bills. Next, you're gonna get all of your source of income, bonuses, salary, pension, social security, child support, rental income, dividends. And now you're gonna create a, a list of all of your monthly expenses. This is gonna be mortgage, uh, rent, car payment, health insurance, utilities, groceries, everything you spend money on. Now that you have all of that, we are gonna be able to start building the, the budget side of things. You're gonna put it into this template. If you'd like the template, feel free to send me a message and I will get that off to you. And this allows you to be able to actually tally it up and figure out if you are within your budget. So you have two categories. You have fixed and you have variable expenses. Fixed are going to be things that are staying the same every single month. And variable is going to change month to month. You know, like groceries and gas, you might not be spending as much in your budget. You know, you might budget for $100 in gas, but maybe you only spend 80 You know, there's some variables there. So four. We're going to total up your monthly income, total up your monthly expenses. And if your income is greater than your expense, then you're, hey, you're off to a great start. And you can put your money towards retirement, savings, or paying down debt sooner. Now, if the expenses are greater than your income, it's time to make some changes. So step number five, make some adjustments. This is the less gla uh, glamorous part. <laughs> your expenses, you need to adjust your expenses to be able to allow yourself to be able to get out of that situation. So the first thing we're gonna look at is variable expenses. You know, maybe dining out for a couple months is not an option and be able to find ways to cut back. Step number six, keep up the good work. You know, now that you've created this budget, you need to be able to make sure you re review this budget every single month to make sure you're stay staying on track and then take a few minutes to compare your actual monthly expenses with what you created within the budget. This will show you areas that you need to improve on and be able to do better. And assistance, happy to help. What we do here is a financial needs analysis. It's complimentary, confidential, and it's a customized program for you to be able to achieve your goals and dreams and savings, debt solutions, income protection, and income management. So if you guys have any questions, I would love to be able to help you out with that. This has been Matthew Ritchie, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, and God bless.